Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Ned from That's Tech, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And geez, I can tell you, the first love that I ever had was definitely over the internet. I hear a lot of therapists and stuff saying it can't happen, but I absolutely did. My first love was on the internet. This wasn't it, but she ended up being my, uh, my internet wife when things went a little bit crazy. Mike, I'm sorry. I am Cowbells. You might remember me. I was Sweet Tiva's internet boyfriend. And there's just something about this woman and Mike. They're both excellent. They're sweet TV. You'll see her on the right and Mike on the left. He is my trolling her a little bit. Look at her face. Oh, there's something different about her. Now, now every now and then you run into something in life, or at least I do, or I will find a really freaking mean dog or a really mean something or other. And, and, and then, like, something you try your best to be friends with it, and it just doesn't work out. And then you, this animal is just so mean and corrupt and stupid and all these bad things you just don't like it every now and then it happens every now and then you run into an animal like that and then you see it doing something dumb like pee on the electric fence and you just it's the best thing in its own insanely funny that you just want to laugh at its misfortune sweet tiva is one of those individuals you can see her here up on the top right she is legitimately probably the most narcissistic person that i ever heard of on so unapologetically there, I'm here, I'm beautiful, I'm number one, and she had a picture of Sarah Michelle Gillard behind her, and that's Lampy Lamp. The two of them were very big memes to us. I was probably her number one fan. She knew me. She jumped on at the name Cowbells with a K, and she got so excited, I called her a few times, and she was on camp. Oh, I miss her so much. I miss her so so much but she's no longer with us because uh of course uh drugs and alcohol abuse which probably played a part to begin with and uh, now looking back i have a lot more sympathy for her now that i understand what kind of abuses happen every day at the regular level especially for uh, females i'm pretty sure that she's had some kind of a uh, abuse before I'm not saying it excuses it. I don't know what's up, but uh, I don't think you get like this on your own. Anyways, <laughs> she was so mean to Mike all the time, but then again, so was Mike to her. So she's mad because Anonymous is here. They jumped in. This was before me, and they were playing, and, and they told Mike to play Rick a Rick role, and Mike does, and she just breaks down, but she's so insufferable. Such a, oh, a nasty, 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 nasty woman. I love her. Lisa. I love you, Lisa. Mm. Mm, I miss you, Mike. I hope you're doing okay. I see you haven't remarried yet because you can't handle life without her. But guys, guys, she's really something. Check out her link in the description, Encyclopedia Dramatic, and check out this video. I hate this song. I hate this song. Everybody knows it's Sam. They're all saying his name. They're all the same people. Why are they all saying the same shit? Oh, oh my God. I can't believe you let these guys rule you. This ain't funny to me! Let you down the ground. I hate this song more than I hate anything in my life. You're a fucking a faggot! I'd rather hear cry! This ain't funny! What is wrong with you? This is called emotional abuse. Turn it off! You've got some sick fucking issues. I told you I hated that song a month or two ago. 